Here's a new trend investors are talking about. 3D printing. It's a small but growing force in manufacturing. The technology can be used to produce almost anything by anyone, from shoes to car parts to medical devices, from just about anywhere. It sounds futuristic, but it's now a reality, creating new opportunities for businesses and investors. Mary Thompson reports. 3D printing is breaking the manufacturing mold. Parts are built in a single step, and some of the needed printers and software are so affordable, consumers are getting in the game, making their own toys and tchotchkes. With 3D printing, craftsmanship is democratized, I think is a liberating and an impactful idea. Avi Reichenthal is CEO of 3D Systems. His company makes 3D printers ranging from the cube for consumers to bigger models used by manufacturers that sell for close to a million dollars. Rapid growth in the consumer space fueling a rapid rise in 3D stock and that of rival Stratasys. Some see a bubble forming, but Reichenthal counters the industry's been 30 years in the making with a long runway ahead. It's going to become more sustainable because you'll make what you need when you need it and as you need it, as close to the point of consumption as possible. 3D printers build by an additive rather than subtractive process. Guided by design software, metal, plastic or other materials are layered to create finished products using lasers, electron beams and other technologies. The appeal to manufacturers, designs and prototypes that can be changed quickly, eliminating waste and compressing the time between computer screen and final product. For GE, which is using 3D produced parts in its soon to be tested LeapJet engine, it means big savings. Here's Leap director Gareth Richards. Well, we're saving um, probably uh, on the order of 50 to 75 percent in total uh, cost. That can be both material cost, it can be labor, it can be the design time. Um, the, the cycle time savings are, are measured in weeks and months. A $2.2 billion industry, growth been over 24% in each of the last three years. And while 3D printing's core market is prototyping or model making for the auto and medical industries, its near-term growth lies in low volume production of complex parts for the aerospace industry, prosthetics and replacement parts in medical, and the consumer space. 3D printing turning manufacturing on its head, building from the inside out and the bottom up. In Rock Hill, South Carolina, I'm Mary Thompson, Nightly Business Report.